and I can't say the word squirrel. Hi, welcome back to my channel, you guys. So if you're here, you probably clicked on the link because guess what I got in the mail today. Oh. You guys, I cannot stress enough how excited I am about this palette right here. It is the Anastasia Norwina, Norwina? The Anastasia Norvina palette, another word I cannot say. And it is absolutely stunning. Oh. If you guys have followed my Instagram channel for a while, you guys will have noticed that I absolutely love anything violet, reds, those are my favourite colours ever, and they just look good on me, so I just kind of go with it. As I said earlier, I just got this in the mail, I have not tried it yet, I did a few swatches and I love it, so let's get right into that and start testing this out. I wish I was one of those beauty bloggers that could just do a video with their hair down, but... I just find my hair is too heavy and distracting and uh, it's too hot for that. I've already been out for the day so I'm just gonna touch up my foundation right here on my nose and chin. So I'll be using the Ilamasca Skin Base which I'm already wearing. I'm just gonna brush up on the areas that look a bit messy. Oh, would you look at that? I've got one of them going. Do you guys also get that? You have your skin looking brilliant and amazing for a while and then suddenly, out of nowhere, it's like Satan decided your life is going too well. Here, have a blemish. I may not always prime, but I always do set. Because if I didn't, I would just look like an oily, flipping mess. So yeah, I just put my powder, which is the Ben Nye Neutral Set, on my little problem areas and where I've touched up uh, right, I know, not what you came here for, but girls gotta look good for camera, so yeah. I've got powder all over me, lovely. Right, let's get these lashes off. These are the House of Lashes in Siren, and I like to wear lashes when I'm hardly wearing any makeup in the morning. Right, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance to create my lovely base on my eyes which I'm probably just gonna speed through because this is boring as fuck. Now I have primed my upper and lower lash lines, but I'm gonna actually try something today on camera as well. I'm going to be using some concealer on my lash line as well because I've been seeing other beauty bloggers do this and I never have tried that. Basically, I keep seeing them put concealer on their eyes without setting it and then putting shadow on top. So we will see what that does as well. I know I should probably just be testing the palette on its own, but this is also something I'm very curious about. So why not just hit two birds with one stone and go on about that? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Bella, why are you using primer as well as concealer? You crazy lady. Reason for that is I have extraordinarily oily eyelids and even if I use a white base of any sort, I always put primer underneath because I always, no fail, always, always get that crease going and I try to avoid that as much as possible, which this base does for me. Now let us spill the tea on this palette. This is not piss, it's actual green tea that I put in the fridge to cool down because it is hot. And a lovely, refreshing, nice drink. Put some stevia in this, it tastes really good. Right guys, I just had to marvel a little more over this palette. The first colors that my eye absolutely just is drawn to would be Celestial, because again, love me a nice violet. Wild Child and Rose Gold, which I'll definitely probably be using in today's look. And of course, Soul as well, because I want to try and keep it as beautiful violet as possible. But you know what? I have no idea yet what I'm going to be doing. So whatever photo you clicked on, that's probably the look. Now these brushes I normally keep in my kit, so I'll probably be confiscating this to put in my makeup bag in a bit for work. So now I'll just be using one of my regular old brushes and I will be dipping it into Soul. There's a little bit of powder coming off, but not as much, but I'm just keeping a very gentle hand. Keep it, oh look, we do have some fallout, which is fine. What I normally do is I take a powder brush with some residue powder on it and just brush it away. Anytime you have a powder brush with some powder left over on it and you swipe whatever product you have on your cheek away, it normally tends to help it out a bit. All right, so we already had a bit of fallout, which is fine. I don't mind fallout as much, as long as I get pigmentation. It's when, after you apply it and there's still crumbles falling on your cheek, that's something I do not like. Actually, let me bring you guys in closer. Okay, how you doing? Is this close enough? I don't know. Is this what the other beauty bloggers do? I have no idea. Well, this will be my style from now on. I think. I hope. I don't know. So far, so good. I am liking how that is coming out. 
I didn't have any more fallout coming out, which is good. It might have might have just been me being reckless because uh, I live life on the edge sometimes. You know how there are some days where you overly careful and you're like, all right, you've got to stay between the lines and then there are other days where you're like, no. Now normally what I've noticed about the Anastasia shimmery colors, they tend to come up better with a finger, but I'm going to try out these shimmers first with a brush. And if I'm still not happy with it, I'm just going to use a finger, which I'm completely fine with. But I do know other people are not as fond of using their fingers. Going in. So going in, am I still, ah. Uh, yeah, they're fine. Going in with Celestial. It is creamy, but not as creamy as, what was that color called again from the Prism Palette? I don't know, but Prism Palette had a few shimmery colors that were very, very creamy to the point where you had to use a finger. I absolutely love this color. That is gorgeous. If you guys see more and more violet looks on my channel in the next few days, you will know why. And if you're not following me on Instagram already, go check it out. I will link it down below. Let's do a nice halo eye. I'm quite impressed I had this shimmer color is coming on with a brush. I am gonna just dip a finger in there and see if there's a, no? Not a big difference, I'm very impressed. So what I'm doing is just putting Celestial on the front and back of my lid and just connecting it in my crease right underneath my bone, my eye socket. Eye bone, eye socket. I struggle with language. Is this color not insane? It's making my eyes look really green. I love it. Next I'm going to use some rose gold right there. And we are going to put it right in the middle. Oh my. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, f me. Yeah, I am getting quite a bit of falling out right down here. So if that's not something you are into, oh wow. There's quite a bit of fallout on my desk. I did not notice that, so. If fallout is something that you are not on board with, then um, yeah, still it's absolutely, look at these colors. This is absolutely stunning. I'm just patting a bit more on top of my finger because why not? I'm gonna take a bit of Wild Child with my finger and tap that on top of Rose Gold. And it gives it just a bit of a kick of shine right in the middle. These colors are absolutely to die for right up my alley. Next, I'm gonna be taking a pencil. Oh, this is a bit dirty. Your brush is clean, guys. Learn from me. Let's try this again with a pencil brush, a clean one. I'm going to be taking a bit of drama to create some drama. I'm just going to put that kind of right in my outer V. Ah, oh, that still stings. By the way, guys, if you clean your brushes with IPA, they're still a bit damp because the fumes of that can sting your eyes. So I'm just going to use one of these Cosette brushes and just put that right into my outer corner and in my crease to create that drama. Taking Celestial again. You're putting that on my lower lash line. Yes, I am using the viewfinder as my mirror because it just is easy to show you guys with, which I know so many people hate, but mm, bite me. Now using a mirror, I'm gonna be looking up just to make it easy to show you guys where I'm putting Celestial now. Next with a smaller brush, we're going to be going back in with rose gold right into the middle. Add a touch of the pink color Wild Child right on top of that. Kind of noticing that right here in the crease where I blended a few colors, it's getting a bit muddy. Just right here, starting to look a bit. Mm. I'm still loving how this is coming out. I just know for the next time some of these colors just are not as buildable as others. I'm gonna take some Dreamer right here and we're gonna put that in, yeah, tear duct, that's it. You guys sometimes also just forget what things are called. Words, names, people, objects, stuff. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of soul and use that to blend out my bottom lash line. Now I'm a bit torn, should I do a violet liner or a black? I think I'm gonna do a nice bold black liner using the Tartius Clay Clay Paint Liner. Right, with an angle brush, I'm gonna be taking a bit of product 
and I'm gonna be speeding through my eyeliner process. bit more of drama add that back here into my lower lash line I'm just gonna take some NYX jumper eye pencil in milk because I want my eyes to look huge I'm gonna be putting some of that in the waterline I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks a bit more with some sweetie pie bronzer from Too Faced and it literally looks like a pie we like pie well actually we love anything sweet until it goes to our hips. Then we love to hate it, hate to love it. I just want my cheekbones to look a little more defined. So I'm going to use some Too Faced Cocoa Contour and I'm going to use Dark Cocoa. I'm going to take the slightest amount and just put it right in the lowest part of my cheekbone just to kind of chisel myself a bit more. Let's add some Anastasia Moonshine Glow Kit and use some Purple Horseshoe. One of my favorite highlighters in other world. Mm. What I also like doing is highlighting my collarbones and my shoulder a tiny bit. Shoulder, not one, plural. Yeah, I've been a bit burnt recently due to heat and sun. So I look a little bit like a burnt lobster. I'd really like to shine bright like a diamond. So I'm going to be using some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm going to be spraying some on my highlighter and just really make that highlight shine and burn like a diamond right, i'm just going to touch up my mascara a little bit and use some better than sex mascara and just tidy up my lashes where there's eyeshadow on them for lashes i'm going to be using the 920s from prima lash so while i was on the tube today i saw <laughs> this is just really weird i'm still a bit weirded out by this it's not that weird but it's just i was internally laughing so this is man right he was on one of those foldable bikes and he just kind of leaves it in the corner and he comes over very uncomfortably close to me. He pulls out a pair of binoculars to have a look at the tube map. <laughs> Who does that? I mean, I thought it was hilarious, but he was literally right up by where the tube maps are with these binoculars looking at it, like right in my personal space where I'm sitting there kind of going, you all right, man? <laughs> what are you doing? I've got cat hair on my face, which is why I keep having an itch. I love my cats. They just always cover me in hair. If it's out of love or out of dominance. This is an amazing combination. And I'm done. Take nope. All right, lip for this look. What kind of lip do we want to go for? Uh, too much? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of feeling both. I'm feeling the violet and I'm feeling the nude. You know what, let's start off with nude. And if I still want to go dark, I always can. This colour, by the way, is Melt Cosmetics Lipstick in Nude. Put a touch more purple horseshoe right on my Cupid's bow because I really love that in photos. And just generally, it looks amazing having just a bit of some glow on that Cupid's bow. Right, let's do some obligatory YouTube beauty blogger poses. Mm. Mm. Yeah, girl. Work it. <laughs> I really love this look and these colors what do you guys think before i forget just some more setting spray because oily skin and oh i look good so final thoughts on the norvina palette i personally love it it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous i love that it's half shimmer half matte it's something i can definitely get on board with i love absolutely love 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 the purple theme the shimmers are shimmery, they're very, very saturated, very pigmented, and the mattes are buttery soft. I'm just going to do a quick swatch of love. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Doing a quick swatch of love, and you guys can see those mattes are absolutely stunning. I know I only used one matte in this tutorial. Let me just do another swatch on passion right here. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now you guys can see it's not patchy it's not flaky it's they even feel very soft to the touch which is something i definitely notice when i feel like products in stores but yes i absolutely love this palette it's not as powdery as subculture definitely i would compare it more to modern renaissance i haven't got 
the what was the most recent one called now i don't have the soft lump palette so i can't really speak for that but i would compare this one more to modern renaissance rather than subculture and prism so but it is very beautiful palette if you're not into violets and cool tones i'd give this a pass but if you are as in love as i am with these colors i'd say go for it do it you need this palette it's absolutely beautiful it's stunning get out of girl <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing with my life i hope you enjoyed this tutorial look first impression story about a man with binoculars and of course my little confession as to i can't say the word squabble square wool square wool eh. square wool fluff it yes please don't forget to like and subscribe to the, my channel click the bell just so you can actually see when i post something because out of 170 something followers not very many of you are watching so i don't know if you guys just don't care i'm not that good at making videos or you just don't know when i put them up because i definitely promote them on my instagram and facebook and twitter which by the way i'll link them all below so you can click on the links follow me share the love say where you came from and tell me that you absolutely love or hated this video i don't know word vomit also if you'd like to see any more looks with this palette please let me know i'm definitely down for doing more with this because uh love it yeah and i will see you in my next video it might be a story time might be a tutorial who knows these days bye no seriously subscribe